favorite fit Cali girl Shannon, but today I'm not Shannon, I'm the meal prep and macro monster. So today I'm actually here to talk a little bit about your macros because a lot of you guys watched my macro video and you calculated your macros and if you didn't do that I'll leave a link up, up here somewhere um, so you can go ahead and do that. But if you have your numbers, you're probably like, okay, these numbers are great, but what do I do with them? And what does it mean for my body and my food? And so today we're going to talk about how to take those numbers that you got with your target macros and how to create a meal plan that you can eat every day and reach your fitness goals. So let's get started. Two things that I find absolutely essential are a free app called MyFitnessPal, and I'll put a link to it, and you can download it also from the App Store, or if you have an Android, it should be free as well. And then also, I use a food scale, and that's totally essential. Um, I don't know if they have this one anymore. It's by RBX, but I'll also leave a couple links to a few food scales down below that I know are great. So I've actually busted out the big easel today. Um, a little fun fact about me is that I love to draw and paint. And so I figured you guys would rather see this on a really big sheet of paper instead of a small one. And so what I'm going to actually start here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write down my macronutrient goals. So you can write down whatever you got and you can follow along with me and we can do this together. For protein, I got 105 grams. For fat, I had 55 grams. And for carbs... I have 225 grams. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and subtract out any supplements that I take. So I actually take a whey protein supplement after my workouts. Some of you guys might do the same. I take this one, the Fit Whey from Women's Best, and so I'm going to subtract out 24 grams of protein, 1 gram of carbs, and 1 gram of fat. If you guys drink supplements, usually all of the nutritional information is listed on the back. So if you're always wondering, like, what are the macros in the foods that I eat, a lot of packaged foods have that already, and you can just take a look. So once I subtract that out, I'm also going to subtract out my snacks. And so snacks get a little bit harder because a lot of snacks, like for example, if I want to eat an apple, the apple doesn't have nutritional value on it or a barcode that we can scan or anything like that. I'm actually going to walk you through how to use MyFitnessPal to figure out what macros are in those foods. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to record my screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up MyFitnessPal. And once I open up MyFitnessPal, I get a home screen and at the very bottom there's a little plus sign and I'm going to click that plus sign and I'm going to, we're going to enter in some of our food. So I'm going to go to food, and I'm going to go, of course, to snacks, and let's say I want to do an apple. So I'm going to search for that apple, and usually I try to find the items that have a little green check mark because those are the ones that are verified and the macros are accurate. So I'm going to find my apple, and I'm going to look it up, and I'm going to see that it has 22 grams of carbs, 0 grams of fat, and 0 grams of protein. So I'm going to subtract those out. And I'm also going to click the little check mark and add it to my day. So next, I'm going to subtract all of those out of my target macros. And for me, I get 81 grams of protein, 54 grams of fat, and 206 grams of carbs. So next, you have to figure out how many meals you want to eat every day. And I eat four meals a day. You might want to do three. You might want to do five, it's totally up to you, but you're going to take that number of how many meals you eat a day, and you're going to divide it like so. And so once I do that, I get protein, 20 grams, fat, 13, and carbs, 52. Now these are actually the macros that we're going to want to target for each meal. So each meal should have roughly these macros. And they don't all have to be super, super accurate and close, but this is just a great ballpark for you to think about when you're putting your meal plans together. So now that we have this, let's move on to the next step of actually creating those meal plans. Okay guys, a different angle because I want to make sure you can see over here. And I've actually written down my target macros per meal up here. 
So I'm going to start with my favorite meal, the first meal of the day, which is breakfast. And we're going to build a meal plan for breakfast. And then you can do this on your own for every single other meal that you eat. So for breakfast, I'm going to choose a food that I love. So I'm going to say, I feel like eating eggs. So I'm going to write down eggs. Now, if I don't know the macros in eggs, I can use my fitness pal, and that's why I love it so much, to search for that food. So I'm going to go into breakfast, and I'm going to do search for food, and I'm going to do eggs, and I'm going to find eggs in here, and I can actually see the macros for eggs. And so I'm going to say that I feel like eating two eggs, so I'm going to change that, and then I'm going to write it down here, and it also will record it in your app. So for carbs, it has approximately one, and I'm, I'm rounding up. For fat, it has about 10 grams, and for protein, it has about 13. So I'm going to add that to my meal plan. Now I'm going to take a look at this and say, okay, well, what else do I want to eat? Well, if I make my eggs, my favorite way of making them, which is sunny side up, I'm going to need a little olive oil. So I'm going to do olive oil here and I'm going to search for that in my fitness pal as well. One teaspoon of olive oil, I found find out that it has zero carbs, zero protein, and about five grams of fat. Now I have about 13 grams of protein, 15 grams of fat, so I'm pretty covered here, but I have no carbs. So I'm going to decide, okay, how do I want to how do I want to fulfill these carbs that I need for my meal? So first off, I'm going to say, well, I feel like eating some fruit. And I saw blueberries at the store on sale, so I'm going to want to put those into my meal plan this week. So I'm going to search for blueberries. 100 grams of blueberries is about 21 grams of carbs, 1 gram of fat, and 1 gram of protein. So I'm going to add that to my meal. Now I'm going to take a look here and say, while I'm still kind of deficient in carbs, I'm a little bit under on protein, I'm good here on fat, what else do I want to eat? And let's say, okay, well, I think I'd like to eat some potatoes, so I'm going to add those into my day. And if I add potatoes into my day, I'm going to look that up in my fitness pal. And I can see that if I eat 100 grams of potatoes, that's about 26 grams of carbs, um, almost zero fat and three grams of protein. So hey, that's great. I'm going to add that in then. Okay, I'm going to take a look at this and I'm going to figure out what my totals are and we can see how we did. And the great thing actually about MyFitnessPal is that if you turn your app to the side like so, it'll actually show you the totals for that meal for that day. So I have 48 grams of carbs, 15 fat, and 17 for protein. So I'm actually pretty close here. I'm a little bit under, but not by very much. So I'm going to save this as my meal one. For so breakfast. once you do it for one meal, it becomes a total piece of cake to do it for all of the other meals. So I'm going to do this three more times because I eat four meals a day. And once I have all of my meals, I'm going to add up all the ingredients and make a shopping list. So for example, if I was only shopping for this one meal, I meal prep for four days a week. I meal prep Monday through Thursday. So I would multiply potatoes, 100 grams. I would need 400 grams of potatoes, 400 grams of blueberries, four teaspoons of olive oil, and eight eggs. So I'm going to put that all on the shopping list. I'm going to do it for all of the other meals. And then next we're going to go together to the supermarket and I'm going to show you how I shop for my meal plans and I'm going to show you how I meal prep all the food. If you like this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel because in addition to more videos from the Meal Prep and Macro Monster, I'm going to have some awesome workouts coming up soon. So stay tuned for those and I'm so excited and I love being on this journey with you guys. Thank you so much and can't wait to see you soon. Bye everyone!